Hello everybody, Low Wolf Rick here. It is Monday here in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. It's about 1.30 p.m. as I'm just out here walking around here. I'm in front of the uh, fashion show ball right now and just out cruising the strip. But I'm taking it easy today. I thought I'd uh, turn the camera on and see if there's anything going on. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, today here in Vegas, a little bit cooler than it has been. It's supposed to get up to like 97 today, which uh, still pretty warm. But uh, when it was getting up to 109 for about three days in a row, uh, so you could tell there's a little bit of break in the temperature here. But it. It's a little bit breezy here today. We had some strong winds come through last night and uh, I guess blew a front through and it's supposed to be, uh, like I said, about this temperature today and tomorrow uh, before it gets back uh, over 100 degrees again. at this place that Emma Smith's building his restaurant uh, got it all covered up that's where they finally started the uh, uh, renovation work inside the restaurant itself so it's supposed to open they're saying sometime this fall or this winter so uh, we'll see if it, uh, they hold to that schedule or not there That were right there at Sugar. You can probably take that side down because that's actually where uh, Emma Smith's restaurant's going to go. It's right at a place where it was the uh, It's Sugar restaurant. And they moved over by the uh, uh, Miracle Mouse shops. Take a look over there at the Vegas Death Star. They're still working on that next year for that uh, venue. It's supposed to be ready. <laughs> it's actually the MSG Sphere, not the Death Star. But by the time they started building it, uh, I started calling it the Death Star, and that kind of caught on a little bit, actually. Mm -hmm. Over here with the, another escalator down. It's always the one going up. That's the one that's always down. the half 
white point. Take a look uh, westbound there on Spring Mountain Road. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but for our new viewers, up over the uh, I-15, up there on the other side is where Chinatown's at. Lots of shops and lots of restaurants. Some really good food there. Oh, Treasure Island there. Well, this was just the opposite. The one going up actually works, but the one going down is built. We're going to go inside. The Avenger station there. There's their promo right now. Join the Players Club. And the nice thing is, you know, that CBS store is right in front of uh, uh, Treasure Island, but you can actually get in there, right there. There's their little food court right there. It's only two two restaurants and a Popeyes and pickup sticks. Oh, I know it's a, it's a lot cooler in here than it is outside. the entrance right here to see your frogs. This senior, this senior frog's taking a siesta. You know, the one thing I will say about Treasure Island, their uh, gift shops, or those souvenir shops they have, like this one here, they actually have a lot of cool stuff in there. I mean, this one right here is almost like a little mini, like, uh, Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville type place. Lots of pirate stuff, and pirate's cove stuff and everything. Actually, out the front here, we see the Hertz Rita car right out front. And then there's Senior Frogs right there. So we keep walking and I'm going to keep rambling here for a few seconds because it, hopefully it doesn't pick that music up. If you look at here, it's like, you know, where the ships are. You see how low they've got the water now. All these places here in Vegas, it's like, you know, in front of New York, New York, uh, where the Statue of Liberty's at, they actually took all that water out, uh, you know, where the, uh, where the statue's at. So that water's all gone. And all these properties have really, uh, that has water and water shows. Like this one has a fountain, you know, that I've showed it numerous times, but uh, it has a fountain. During the week, they don't run the fountains anymore. Uh, they just do it on the weekends. <laughs> Menu for Gillies. So, uh, but even if you walk by the uh, Bellagio, you can tell the lake in front of the Bellagio is lower than they used to keep the water levels.
And I was reading an article this weekend where I guess Lake Mead is, I mean, almost at crisis level now. So we'll see what ends up happening here. Take a look over there at the Venetian complex. breeze is starting to pick up again a little bit. Actually it feels fairly nice but uh, sorry if you get some of that noise in the, in the microphone there. Some of the water level here in front of uh, the barrage. There's still like the right in campaign, people trying to save the volcano. So when its property finally sails and the uh, hard rock starts building up what they're gonna build. Yeah, I'm wondering if all these people that are cited the petitions and uh, I wonder when the last time they actually came to the volcano and actually looked at it. And I've said it before, Vegas doesn't have a whole lot of tradition anymore. And you all know that. It's like uh, they'll, they'll implode a building and build a new one ground up. And the old one doesn't mean that much anymore. I mean, look at the Tropicana. It's been the name Tropicana since 1957. And eventually that probably be called Valley, so... Of course, on the other end of this, it's like, you know, the MGM actually right now owns uh, the Mirage. And I don't see the MGM jumping in through. It says, you know, we'll move the volcano to another one of our properties. That's just my take on it.
to the water so low you can really see the piping and stuff down there. Across the way over there, see what's going on. I think I'm scheduled to go back downtown maybe in a week or two. Do some videos back down there again. Maybe, uh, you know, there's a white castle and actually a standalone white castle uh, by the Fremont Street experience so maybe I'll uh, do lunch there and show you all the uh, Vegas cost of uh, some burger sliders and uh, show you that around that restaurant there You know, I've been doing the videos, um, I just posted, in fact today, I just posted the uh, Flamingo, uh, the monorail stations. I hope, uh, hope y'all are finding it informative. Hope she kind of get around a little bit more in this town here. Uh, whenever you come here, it helps it ease of maybe finding the monorail stations. I've done the MGM Grand. And then Bally's was the next one. And then the Flamingo's the next one. And then Harris here. We'll do that. And then that kind of almost takes care of the whole strip where the monorail actually stops on the strip. Stops at Harris. The only other place that stops on the strips is the Sahara Hotel uh, down at the north end of the of Las Vegas Boulevard. So. So that'll be kind of uh, <laughs> well, the other two stops are ours. They, they, once it leaves Harris, it kind of snakes around and then picks up on Paradise Road and it goes to the uh, convention center. So then from the convention center, it goes to the west gate. And uh, I think they did that because a lot of people stay, you know, they go to the conventions and the convention center stays at the west gate. And then uh, it comes back around and it stops at the Sahara Hotel. So we'll get the one done here from Harris and then uh, had to go down to the Sahara Hotel and finish it up here as far as the strip drop-offs. In front of uh, the forum shops here at Caesars. All right, everybody. I think I'm going to go ahead here to Forbes shops and maybe get something, uh, some bottle of water or something to drink here. I appreciate you joining me today. I really do, Low Wolf Rick. Uh, it's about 1.30 right now here on the strip as I finish up here. I appreciate everybody joining me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, okay? Everybody take care of yourselves, sorry, right? and stay healthy, please. Uh, there's a, another big spike of this coronavirus here in Las Vegas. In fact, uh, uh, the Nevada Health Department is uh, kind of asking people to wear masks inside again. So uh, if you're coming to Vegas, just be careful. All right, everybody, stay healthy, okay? And we'll see you on the next video. Look back here. Bye-bye, everybody.